Hello everyone, we're back uh, in the shed. Uh, it's pretty late here, it's like 10, 10, 11, 11 p.m. in UK. It's freezing cold outside, but we decided to come in the shed because the lighting is way better. Uh, and it's just slightly, well, it's easier to work. Uh, I'm doing a follow-up on the first video I've done, just showing a little bit more of the basically the simplicity of the, the project and how I thought this would be ideal for someone with limited space like me because that's my main issue I don't have space for things like this so I have to just take them off the desk and put them back on and so they, they had to be light and modular um, as you may see we almost uh, finished this segment here like uh, the central pedestal wannabe is just a support for the uh, Trustmaster um, throttle and uh, we mounted the left segment with the metallic clamp I was talking in the previous video and the side stick uh, I'm just gonna show you quickly how easy it is to take them apart so uh, it's only obviously, removing the clamp and these two panels or the ones on the, the other side as well they have a threaded holes so they can be fixed together with the screws but for now just for uh, just a demo purpose I left it like this easy as that obviously this is not ready yet this panel is going to have a back and everything is going to look uh, nicer and tidier all the wiring is still it still needs to be done um, everything is connected electronics like uh, the um, uh, basically all the encoders and switches they are connected to this wire I just got this type of uh, I can't remember exactly how they how they are called but they look uh, like the, the, the typical uh, VGA uh, adapter adapters and it's really easy to connect uh, everything to the main panel where I have the Arduinos. The panel, it's a 13 inch. Um, this one actually is an USB one. They are both uh, left and right side. They are USB ones. Uh, you can obviously use HDMI's. Uh, this is what I had on hand and uh, well, it worked for me. But um, as you may see, it's just one panel split in half. And that's about it so one panel on the left side one panel on the right side everything super easy we just load it back in clamp and that's it back in business obviously i'm gonna make something nicer here in this area we don't want to see those uh, metal bits, but uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna show you now. Uh, we're just working on the overhead panel, and um, we have the left and the right side of the panels to. To complete and uh, the only issue is I need to uh, 3d print loads of uh, Cori switches uh, <laughs> just to populate all the um, remaining slots uh, these are homemade I'm gonna pop the design as well there are quite a few designs for the Cori switches like I used one that's very simple the one with the hole that runs like a 12 millimeter uh, uh, normal uh, switch and um, it's just everything clamps on and the holes are cut exactly for that so you just pop them in you have a couple tabs on the back that holds everything together so it's just uh, plug and play <laughs> well that's uh, that's about it for uh, for tonight I'm gonna work I'm gonna hopefully record while I'm working on the overhead panel and give you a little bit more uh, details on, on that side. 
thank you and uh, have a nice evening